So Science Foundation Ireland funds research that is both excellent and impactful. Impactful, so what does that mean? It means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And sometimes it's really hard for a researcher to translate the impact of their research when they work so closely to quite a specialized topic. And you and I will make our decisions about whether something is impactful by personal things, like, is it important to me? Is it important to me right now? Is it relevant to my world? Or is it important enough that I can see that it's relevant to others? And of course, what influences us is our emotional journey that we've traveled to this point, because that informs the opinions that we hold and the decisions that we make. So in this world, we heard this morning a lot about how facts and, and quasi-facts are being thrown at us from every angle. It's really important for researchers to remember that not just to base our arguments on facts, but to remember the emotional journey that people have traveled and how important it is for us to create a story around why our research is important, why it's compelling, why it's relevant. And that's why I really enjoyed yesterday sitting on the judging panel with my three esteemed colleagues. Um, and we met eight people, eight finalists for Research Fest 2018, and had the pleasure of sitting there listening to their eight very well-constructed stories that held our attention. It captivated us and told us the compelling relevance of their research. It was a very, very tough decision to make. Um, but I think you'll agree with me when you, when you meet him and hear his story. I'm delighted to be able to announce the winner of Research Fest 2018, Owen Murphy from NUI Galway. I hope you welcome on stage now to share his story. <laughs> Los Angeles, 1968. As the sun beats down on a busy street, a woman steps off the curb to cross to the other side. But just as she reaches the middle of the road, her body freezes. She's upset, confused, angry. And then a police officer shouts, how can you be so drunk this early in the day? Shame on you. But she wasn't drunk, and she shouldn't have felt shame but what she was experiencing were the early stage symptoms of Huntington's disease, a progressive brain disorder which affects you emotionally, mentally, and physically. Sufferers will normally show symptoms in their 30s and 40s, and will, unfortunately, die as a result of these symptoms. But maybe worse again is the fact that their children have a 50% chance of inheritance. But a moment can make a difference. And in that moment, the police officer would put in motion a sequence of events which would ultimately lead us back here today. That moment would start an adventure, beginning with the establishment of a foundation by the woman's husband. But their daughter, Nancy Wexler, the key character in the story, would spend the next 25 years hunting down the cause of this disease. The hunt would take her to a small fishing village on the coast of Venezuela, where so many people had hunting the disease, the scientists were able to identify chromosome four as the problem. Research went global. The gene responsible was soon discovered. But the early hopes soon faded as the complexity of the disease began to expose itself. This model represents the position of the hunting gene on our DNA. Scientists discovered that we all have the green section, which is good, but that those who have the disease also have the red section, which is bad. The additional information in the red section was causing the disease. There would be no easy cure. But why should we care? Well, we should care because here in Ireland, we're between two and three times more likely to inherit this disease than anywhere else in the developed world. So let's put some numbers on that. Crow Park, not that far from here, a busy match day, a full house. 15 to 20 people in that crowd will either have hunting disease or develop it in their lifetime. A disease with no cure or no treatment. So early hopes had faded, until recently, when a new technology has given renewed hope. CRISPR, a genetic editing tool which allows us to use an enzyme like a scissors and direct it to specific locations on the DNA to make cuts. 
Just last year, a group of scientists in the US used CRISPR to remove the entire Huntington gene from that of disease mice, almost completely reversing symptoms. This was groundbreaking. But we believe you need to keep the green section. And that's why right now in NUI Galway, we are using CRISPR to target the red section alone. Keep the good, remove the bad, reverse the symptoms. Stephen Hawking once said that as scientists, we step on the shoulders of science, building on the work which has come before us. We now find ourselves in a moment that Nancy Wexler could only dream of, in a moment where CRISPR is offering hope where hope had faded, in a moment where treatment for Huntington's disease may become a reality. Thank you.